Let's see if the scream knife is good for cutting grip, because if it's not, then I'm kind of out of luck, because I don't think I have a razor blade. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. I finally got a new board, man. The creature board that I've been skating lasted me so long, like, and it's still in good condition. Like, I don't even really need a new board. I'm just, like, so tired of the one that I have already just because it's lasting me so long. I still don't know if I want to give it away yet or not. I'm probably going to give it away to one of you guys, like, sign it or something. But the grip tape on it is just so nice. Like, I don't want to get rid of it. But if I'm going to give it to one of you guys, then I don't really care. But anyway, the board that I got today was so much fucking money. Like, like this is the most amount of money that I've ever spent on a skateboard. Just a deck. No grip tape, no nothing. Just the board itself was a hundred dollars the deck itself was a hundred dollars i'll show you guys it in a second but like a hundred dollars just for a deck that's that's crazy all right you guys ready for the um, board reveal it's in my trunk and it is another Powell flight board and it's an 8.5 this time. The last Powell flight board I had was an 8.25. This one's an 8.5. But look at this graphic. That's sick. I got another Powell flight board because they didn't have any more creature VX boards. They didn't have any Santa Cruz boards, the VX ones. I really wanted to try the Santa Cruz VX one, even though I'm pretty sure they're all super similar. I still want to try them all out, you know, but after this, hopefully I get a uh, Santa Cruz VX one and I have a new way of cutting my grip. I'm gonna show you guys. Man, I'm gonna really miss this board, the grip tape especially. Okay, the last Powell flight board, as you guys know, that I had, it lasted a super long time. It was super hard to break it. Pretty sure this one's gonna be no different, but the one complaint I had about the Powell flight boards instead of the Creature VX boards was the Powell flight boards kind of chipped a little bit easier and got razor tail, I think, a little bit easier. But hopefully this one doesn't chip or get razor tail as easily as the last one did. But anyway, this was the last 8.5 that they had, so I felt like I had to get this. The graphic is sick. It's the right size. And you guys know I love these boards. And the grip tape we have all been waiting for, the Spider-Man grip. I was literally supposed to use this grip like as the Spider-Man movie came out, but like, as you guys know, this board right here just lasted me so long, I didn't even end up using the grip tape. But I'm using it now. I'm like two months late, but you know it's fine. And guys, I'm out of stickers, dude. I'm out of LM grip art stickers. I gave those away. I have like no stickers. I have like in and out stickers and that's it. But this is how I'm gonna cut my grip tape from now on with the scream knife. Oh, it's so satisfying to use this knife for stuff. This board, I, I still can't believe how long this board lasted. I mean, it's still in good condition. Like, it's not chipped at all. I mean, it's a little bit chipped right here from when I skated that seven stair, but like, that's it. There's no other chips. The tail is a little bit, you know, the pop is kind of gone and it's kind of like squaring off, but that's like, you know, normal. But other than that, man, this board is like, fine i'm just tired of skating it already that's how long these boards last like i say multiple times if you guys haven't tried the creature vx santa cruz vx the powell flights go try them they're gonna last you forever like if you're someone that breaks your boards or cracks your boards or even get pressure cracks a lot these boards are gonna solve all your problems anyway as i set this up i got some questions that you guys asked me only like 10 of them though because i'm not trying to I'm not trying to have this video be like 30 minutes long, even though I'm pretty sure you guys would like that. Hold on, before I even get started, I'm gonna get a thumbnail because I always forget to get a good thumbnail. All right, I'm gonna go backwards actually. I'm gonna take the trucks off of this board first before I even put the grip tape on because I want the trucks like in the thumbnail. But anyway, like I said, I have some questions. First question, did you actually do what you texted Corey? That's skill right there. Yes, there was no cap in that message I sent to Corey. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's in the last video, go watch the last video. I don't wanna put another screenshot of what I said in a video. So if you guys are curious, just, just go watch the last video. You should have watched it anyway. Dinner with any successful person, who you picking? Um, any successful per- Dude, Elon Musk for sure, dude. Definitely Elon Musk. Pretty sure you guys don't know this, but like Elon is like my fucking idol. And Steve Jobs, but Steve Jobs is dead, so I can't have lunch with him or dinner, whatever the, what did it say? Dinner, yeah, I can't have dinner with uh, Steve Jobs, he's dead. I don't know why I'm so against new trucks, but like every time I get a new board, I'm like, hmm, should I get new trucks too? And like, I'll think about it. And then I'll just, I'll just never get new trucks like ever. Even though I want some new trucks right now, I just, I just didn't get new trucks. All right, let me get this thumbnail really quick. And if you're wondering why I have rocks on my grip tape, it's cause I was trying to make it flat. So it would stay like that. See how it like folds? I don't want it to do that in the thumbnail. All right, we got the thumbnail. Oh fuck, I think I, I think I, which one's the front truck and which one's the back truck? I think this one's the front truck and I think this one's the back truck. Grip tape time. Next question too. Any bad injuries? If so, do you remember what you were trying? Um, I have like three bad injuries. Like I have like three worst injuries, I guess. One, I cracked a bone in my foot and it hurt so bad. It was like a really sharp, it felt like someone stabbed me in the foot. I remember my mom thought I was over exaggerating, but like that shit hurts so fucking bad. And I was trying a Nolly tray off this drop at Cerrito Skate Park. I was just there, so you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I tried to nolly tray a drop at a skate park and I just landed wrong and that shit just like fucking hurt so bad. But the one that's even worse than that is when 
Hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to put this on without fucking it up. And I fucked it up. Actually, no, I didn't. Yes, I did. But the injury that was worse than that is I sprained my ankle, right? And then I sprained it again as it was like still healing. So like I sprained my sprained ankle. Dude, that was the worst pain like ever, dude. I wanted to just kill myself right there. All right, is that good? Dude, how do I keep fucking this up, dude? God damn. Now, right, you know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna put it down. Yeah, but like, I don't know how many of you guys have sprained your ankle. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have. Like, it's pretty common with skating, but like, imagine spraining your ankle and then like, a few days later, as it's still healing, you sprain it again, dude. I forgot what I sprained it on the first time, but the second time I sprained it, I was trying a back lip on this box that I had made, I think. And like, I got into it and then like, I just like, got stuck i think and i like flew forward a little bit and i just landed on my ankle dude it was terrible that's why my ankles are so weak i did that to both my ankles you know what i'm using my truck for this oh this actually works pretty good everyone in the comments was like just use your truck and i never did i was gonna make this video like at a skate park but it's too cold man i just want to make this video and go home dude i'm so hyped to be skating this grip tape right now all right but let's see if um Let's see if the scream knife is good for cutting grip, because if it's not, then I'm kind of out of luck, because I don't think I have a razor blade, but I think it'll be fine. Next question, though. Was YouTube always your dream job? Yeah, kind of. I think, like, yeah. Like, right before I started doing YouTube, I remember I wanted to be, like, a video editor. Oh, this is, oh, this is cutting this amazingly. Oh, but I kind of fucked it up. Oh, my God, this is, like, way better than a razor blade. Damn, look at that, dude. Wow, all oh, this is so satisfying. I'm not encouraging you guys to go buy weapons, but get the scream knife to, to cut your grip. It's amazing. Wait, what was the question again? Was YouTube always your dream job? Yeah, right before I started YouTube, I remember I wanted to be like a video editor and I wanted to go to school for like video editing and stuff, which is also kind of the same as YouTube. And I also wanted to work at NASA, but I don't think those were like dream jobs, you know? I just, there was just something I wanted to do. But like, as of like making money and like making a living from YouTube, yeah, I fucking always wanted to do that. And now that I'm doing it, dude, it's like the best thing ever and I'm so happy. Bro, this knife is amazing. Dude, I've never cut grip tape this easily before. Dude, get away from me, B, I'm gonna stab you. I mean, I fucked up a little bit like right here, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. We're not even gonna look at that or talk about it. But yeah, this knife, holy shit, that was amazing. If you guys want this knife, it's on Amazon. It's called a Buck 119. Go buy it, cut your grip tape with it, it's great. Next question, was it hard to find friends that you can skate with? No, dude, not at all. I just, um, when I very first started, started skating, I was 12. This kid that I met at school skated. Dude, hold on a second. This board doesn't have any fucking holes in it. Or does it? Like, I can't see them. Is that, is that one? Bro, the holes, like, aren't poked. Dude, what? Okay, there are holes. Dude, I was about to freak out, dude. I was like, dude, I just spent $100 on a board with no holes in it. There, There's holes, but they're not, like, poked out. I have to, like, find them through the graphic. Dude, what the fuck? That's, that's a, uh, that's a first. Dude, I was about to freak out and be so mad. All right, anyway, what's the question, man? Um, was it hard to find friends? That you can skate with no when i very first started skating i was 12. um i started skating right as i got into seventh grade and the kid that i sat next to i became friends with him and he skated so that was like an easy friendship right there dude these holes are so hard to find holy shit my bad i'm just like so focused on finding these holes all right there we go um and then when i went to the skate park i just like i just like started talking to people and we just started skating and just became homie like it was super easy like if you guys are having trouble just like finding people to skate with just just go to the skate park and start talking to people that's literally how i made all my skating friends is just at the skate park just skating with people, talking to people. Dude, I'm about to be mad. I can't find the holes on the grip tape side now. And I don't have a freaking screwdriver to poke through it. Will this fit? Barely. It barely fits. There we go. Um, but yeah, just go to the skate park. Start talking to people. It's not as like hard or as like scary as you guys think to like meet friends and stuff. I mean, if you're an awkward person, then maybe. But honestly, every skater is um a little bit awkward. Oh my god, this board setup is not going so good right now. There's a freaking hawk flying above me, dude. I'm about to die. Did you guys hear that? It was like, Arr! There he goes again, Arr! Don't attack me, please, Mr. Hawk. Mr. Hawk, Tony Hawk, is that you? What the fuck am I on about right now? I'm just talking about nothing. Probably not even putting this in the video. All right, next question. What do you wish you did more of when you were younger? Um, what do I wish I did more of when I was younger? Oh, also, I got a uh, new hardware. Even though this hardware is new, there's a purple one, and I don't want the purple one anymore. So now, I got one. 
with gold. Look at that gold. That just looks amazing. Oh, there's two gold ones. What do I wish I did more of when I was younger? Honestly, I don't wish I did more of anything. I feel like I did everything. I feel like I did the right amount of everything. Like, I, I feel like I did everything I wanted to do when I was younger, if that makes sense. Like, I skated a lot. I hung out with friends a lot. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I mean, I had a bunch of sex when I was younger. No, I'm kidding. I didn't lose my virginity till I was like 17. I told you guys this story in, in another board setup video. I was 17, she was 19, it was lit. But anyway, yeah, I feel like, um, I, I don't think I wish I did anything more. My childhood was like so fun, honestly. Like I don't really regret anything from when I was younger. Ever going to San Diego? I've been to San Diego. Um, I went through the phase rug tunnel and all of that. And honestly, I love San Diego. Like San Diego is like one of my favorite places. Even though I've only been there once, I've been there one time. Um, but San Diego's great, I love San Diego. Honestly, I would move to San Diego. Should I move to San Diego? Might do it. Do you think that having a shitty board really affects how you skate? Um, I think the board that you have does affect how you skate, but like, I feel like shitty boards are more comfortable than like brand new boards. Like this is gonna be so uncomfortable to start skating, like until it's broken in. But um, like if your board's like really chipped, like on the tail and stuff and like has no pop left, then yeah, you're probably, it's probably gonna affect you, like how you skating, you know? But I do feel like at the same time, boards that are like worn down and like chipped a little, are like more comfortable than skating like brand new boards. Same thing with shoes, like broken in shoes, like shoes that you've been skating for a while are like so comfortable, way more comfortable than like brand new shoes. So honestly, I think it affects skating or my skating at least in a good way instead of like a negative way. Dude, this gold hardware looks so sick and it matches the graphic on the board, dude. This is great. This board's gonna look so sick and my trucks are still fine. Like I don't, I don't really need new trucks. I'll probably keep these for like another board or two i feel like i set up this board really fast like i'm already done i just gotta tighten the trucks las vegas or la i love vegas i also love la um i would say i'll say this for skating definitely la like everyone knows like you if you want to be like a skater go to la like la is the home of skateboarding but living in la is not as is, is not it's not as great so um i would say to live definitely vegas to skate definitely la but the one thing that sucks there's two things that suck about living in Vegas. One is the heat, dude. Like, the heat is just stupid. Last summer, it was literally 115 degrees. Like, that's just retarded. Wait, I don't know if I can say that word on YouTube. Am I gonna get canceled for saying retarded? Um, but yeah, it's just stupid. Like, what human enjoys living in 100 degree weather? Like, it's just crazy. Not 100 degree weather, 115 degree weather. And the other thing about Vegas that kind of sucks is like, there's nothing to do. Like there's no amusement parks, there's no beaches. It's just the strip and then houses, that's it. But it is really nice. Like there's there's a lot less people, there's a lot less traffic and it's just super nice. Like everything's super nice. Like even this parking lot that I'm in, is just a really nice parking lot. All right, I gotta make sure these are all tightened a lot because like every time I set up a new board, the hardware pokes out a bunch and it's really annoying. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like the hardware is like poking out a lot. That shit's annoying. Alrighty, I think I am done. And I have one question left. The most important question of this entire video. We saved the best for last. Ass or boobs? Definitely ass, dude, come on. But look at that. We got the LM grip art. We got the independent hardware. Bones wheels, bones bearings, independent trucks, bones bushings. Are these bones bushings? Yes, these are bones bushings. 825, shout out Ben Hatchell. That was, that was kind of aggressive, I'm sorry. Dude, the one thing I like about like the VX boards and like the flight boards is like they're thinner than normal boards. And it just feels like, it feels good when you hold it. All right, we gotta get that kickflip test, man. Oh, this board feels amazing, dude. Oh, the size and the shape is just perfect. And Spider-Man's already dirty, I'm sorry. Oh, it feels great, dude. Oh, it's so grippy. Oh, I landed it, but oh my God, the grip is so grippy. I gotta like sand it down. And I just fucked up the grip tape right there. God damn it. See, skating brand new boards is like, honestly the worst thing ever. Actually, no, skating brand new shoes is the worst thing ever. All right, that's as best as it's gonna get. Dude, I already fucked up the grip tape, dude. God damn. But look how sick this thing looks. Spider-Man grip. Shout out Spider-Man. Shout out Tobey Maguire. Shout out Andrew Garfield. Shout out Tom Holland. Let me know your favorite Spider-Man in the comments. But look at this graphic, dude. It's so sick. And like the gold in there. I'll show you guys with my phone. All right, look at that. With the gold, with the gold hardware, it matches the board. Look at that. 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I just gotta put some stickers on it when I get some. Let me see if I actually have some. Do I have some? I might have like in and out stickers or some shit. Yeah, I have I have two in and out stickers. Which I don't even want to put on here. I mean why not? Fuck it. Everyone likes in and out, right? Yep. Shout out in and out. Let's see how good the knife is at cutting stickers. And it's great at cutting stickers. Look at that. I love this knife. If you don't like the video right now, I'm gonna show up to your house holding this knife right up to your throat. So like the video. But um, are we done here? I think we're done. I think we are done. There's no trash can over here. There's literally no trash can anywhere. What the heck? I'll just put it in my trunk, whatever. Cause I know there's always people in the comments like Ashton, did you pick up your trash? Yes, I'm picking up my trash. All right, it's really cold. I kind of want to go home and just edit this video. But um, dude, the fucking grip tape, I fucked it up. But you guys know I have to do at least a nolly heel and or a tray flip. So I got to do that. God damn it, dude. I forgot to sand down the grip. It's too grippy. Oh, you know what? I'm counting that. I am counting that. There we go. There we go. All right, but um, I think that's gonna do it for the board setup. I love this thing. Like I said, I'm probably gonna give this one away to one of you guys. So be on the lookout for, I guess, a mini giveaway. I'm gonna sign it with a green marker. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's get to 150,000 subscribers. I'm gonna do one more kickflip. And then I'll see you guys in my next video. There we go. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Girl, when you get home, you leave your ass for a white girl. <laughs>